come and join the Play the Game forums at playthegamecentral.com, the home for Call of Duty Zombies. Of us, Wang Time, and welcome back to Play the Game Central. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get the soul bow on the Eisen Dragon. So, if we can, guys, please can we get some likes on this video for this guide just to show your appreciation for our work because we appreciate you watching our work. So, to get the upgraded bow, first you need the normal bow, which is the Wrath of the Ancients. To get this, you need to feed three dragons around the map. The first is in the entrance courtyard here, another is on the back wall of the church. And the third is overlooking the pyramid inside the tombs. Once all three dragons have been fed sufficiently, head upstairs from the tombs and you can get the Wrath of the Ancients behind the knight's deathbed. Now you will need to activate four paintings in a particular order. Now these paintings do move around the map each game, but it is the same order of paintings. So the first one you need to activate is the one with the king with the two wolves by his side. And this painting was found at the end of the corridor leading up to the power room. You will know if you are activating them in the right order because you will hear a very untuned guitar strum. The next painting you need to activate is the Knight on the Horse, and this one was found underneath the clock tower just in the walls to the right. Number three is the depiction of the end of the world, and it's the painting with the giant squid from Shadows of Evil in it, and in this case this was found inside the clock tower just as you come in on your left. The fourth painting you need to activate is the Russian warrior on, I don't know what he's on, but it's this painting here. It's the painting of the man with the Russian hat. Once you've activated all four, head back downstairs to the pyramid room and walk towards this wolf symbol on the wall. It will blow open and reveal the arrow. So pick this arrow up and take your bow and arrow down to the rocket launch base. Now you need to shoot this flag that is on top of the hill up here. If you hit it correctly, a glowing blue skull will roll down the hill and land on the floor. And then simply go and pick up that skull. Now return back to the pyramid room and go towards the double wolf head shrine. On the right hand side of the shrine there are some dog bones without a skull. You need to reattach this skull back to the dog and then the dog's soul will appear and guide you around the map. The dog will go to three positions on the map. At each point the dog stops, he will bark and whine and there'll be a glowing mound of bones on the floor. You have to kill a few zombies around these bones in order for the dog to then dig them out for you. Once the dog's dug them out you can then pick them up and then the dog will move on to the next point. Obviously the first set of bones is in the church courtyard here. The second pile of bones is right by the castle main gate, and the third pile of bones is right in front of the teleporter part spawn inside the tombs. So once all three sets of bones have been dug out, you need to make sure the anti-gravity has been activated inside the tomb. At this point you will see your dog looking upwards towards a wall. You need to wait till the gravity shuts off, and then wall run and shoot the glowing symbols while wall running. The symbols will not show a few if you are on the ground. If they are hit correctly, a small platform will be built just underneath the hole in the wall, and then if you run up there and hold X on the deathbed, and all of the bones will return to their rightful resting place, and then it will hand you the reforged arrow. Then take this arrow back to the wolf shrine and place it into the shrine. You will immediately get a max ammo and then you will have to kill zombies around the shrine to charge up your bow. Once the bow is fully charged up, there will be a beam of light coming from the pedestal and then you can go and pick up your upgraded wolf bow. This bow turns the zombies into pure souls on impact and can go through an infinite amount of targets. So the arrow keeps going through zombies, which is absolutely brilliant for taking out massive trains and hordes of zombies that are all coming towards you down a corridor. And that's it guys, so if you appreciate my guide again please like this video and of course if you want to see how all of the other bows are made those links are in the description as well and don't forget that our forums are open so if you want to come and join in the discussion come and meet us there so safe my name is wang time i'll be a long time and i'll see you next time on play the game central tell her